practiced in August of, I want to say, 95. We were first boots on the ground in Tuzla in December. But that August, we practiced for seven or nine, ten days. I don't know how many days it was. Uh, but we were we were able to go in and save six and 60-year-old men from Grozny and um, Zebranica. And we practiced that shit. I mean, during the day, during the night, hugging these mountains because it's identical terrain to, to there in Bosnia. Right, right. And ready to go do the real thing. They're all to meet in the in the soccer fields where we're going to be picking them up out of Chinooks, like multiple, multiple lifts. And damn, if the president has called it off. And uh, see him 20 years later going to put a wreath at the mass grave sites. Yeah, that was disheartening as hell when when we got there and we knew they'd already been mass graves. We had to protect from news and uh, CNN people were like fucking vultures. Yeah, They're following us everywhere. We had to give them a slip, or you know, we'd take multiple vehicles and everybody branch off, and so they didn't know where <laughs> which one was going to where or where it even was, and. Uh, that was a shame. Met up and you were them. saying, had you guys gone in, you probably could have saved their lives. Oh, exactly. Instead of, exactly. Instead of pr- protecting mass graves, you could have just protected the people. It was, almost, of, yeah. it was close to 10,000 total. I mean, it was yes. at two different cities, six to 60, all males. And, and I, I, unbelievable that it got called off. And the mass yeah, graves show there's you know thousands in some of these graves alone. And yeah. And they, they were all scurried around the country. They, they buried them in different places. But it, it was atrocity, yes. For sure. And For uh, sure. we were to meet with uh, Captain Malone was my ALO. Him and I went to a, a meeting where he's going to be Serb and Bosnian generals meeting. And we were to provide any air cover of anything that might go off. And we got there, and there were Serbs that were there. There's a bombed out hotel. There was nothing, but in the back they had a bakery, and that's where these guys were. I think it was five of them, maybe, maybe six. But uh, it was all warm back there, and they looked healthy as hell. These Serbs, they were strong. They spent, they've spent their whole high school years. All they've been in this building for four years with weapons pointed across the field or anybody coming against going to, into Serbia from Bosnia. And yeah. they, all they did is watch movies and, and they spoke better in so much English. That it was just shocking. That, <laughs> and they learned it from watching movies and they asked where uh-huh. we're from. And I said, Texas. And they go, Oh, John Wayne Cowboys. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I think I would it. God, somebody I don't, Major Malone, Captain Malone, I, I know somebody said Chicago. I think we had an, maybe an army guy with us or something. But, oh, Michael Jordan, blah, blah, blah. Oh, got, oh man, yeah. you could care less. They knew all the pop Wayne, culture man. stuff. <laughs> but but they, their English was awesome. Just the movies, man. And the, all the years have been crammed into this place. I mean, it's, it's no, it wasn't very big at all. And, uh, Wow. But that was uh, went off without a hitch there. Everybody met and whatever happened, happened. And we were back heading back to Tuzla we're doing these patrols during, you know, the time I'm there. I'm sending every day if somebody would go up to the Saba River where they're building the bridge, the floating bridge on both sides to meet. And all the heavy stuff coming down from Hungary would come in because we had no equipment. All the roads were blown up. This big bridge right. at the Sabo is my turn to go up. The day, it just happened to be the day that they put it together. And uh, <laughs> you witnessed that and all the APCs and, and tanks and everything, flying American flags coming across. And CNN, of course, is there. I had made yeah. friends with this girl from CNN because she wanted really wanted to see the mass graves and that kind of you know, he never told her where they where it was or anything, but I'll see what I can do. You know, I kept saying. All right. And so it's time for that. 
and they're broadcasting live. And I said, hey, let me use your sat phone. And I called this girl to my girlfriend back in uh, at te- in Texas, uh, in Austin. And I said, hey, turn on TV on CNN right now. You see me. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> I didn't get in front of the camera and do something. Sure, sure. I said, yeah. There's cameras all around. I'm sure I'm standing here next to, you know, blah, blah, blah. And there's, a, oh, I see you. I see you. And I'm talking. And <laughs> That's crazy. Stuff we do. <laughs> I tell you.